Hello Python programmers. So this is the video 10th of a Python basic series for beginners and in this video we're gonna discuss about dictionaries. So first of all let's see that what are the content that we're gonna discuss in this video. So first of all we'll see that what is the general introduction of dictionaries. What is dictionary and how it is different from other collector data type that is string and list. Then we'll see that how we can create a dictionary, how we can access the different elements of a dictionary, how we can add, update and delete elements from a dictionary and we'll also discuss that what are the some of the most important functions and methods for dictionaries. So let's start off with a general introduction of what is dictionary. So dictionary is another collector data type of python just like string and list which stores a sequence of values but it is a little bit different from string and list now if you want to access a specific element in a string or a list you provide the index or the position of that element okay but in dictionary you have to provide the specified key it's just like having your manual indexing right let's say we create a dictionary of a b c d e f g now if this dictionary was a list then a was at the index 0 b was at the index 1 and c was at the index 2 but if we use a dictionary then we can assign any key for this value we can say that apple is equal to a or ball is equal to b so if we want to print the value a that we have to call the value apple okay so let me try to explain you again with a more real life example let's say that you have a english dictionary now similarity in the words so in the english dictionary if you want to search for a meaning you search for a word instead right you want a meaning of a specific word you have to search for that word in the dictionary and this is how this dictionary also works okay so now let's jump to our next section which is how we can create a dictionary now there are multiple methods of how you can create a dictionary we'll discuss three of them because other are very much similar so first of all let's discuss the most simplest one that is to use the curly brackets now curly brackets denotes a dictionary just like the round brackets denotes a list okay so let's say that we create a dictionary of a and inside that dictionary we have key one and the value is a here and key 2 and the value is uh, B here and key 4 and the value is C here okay so this is how a dictionary is created now if you want to call the value C you have to call this index 4 here which we'll discuss later on in this video only that how we can access the elements first of all let's see the different methods to create a dictionary so this was the most simplest one that you use these curly brackets now there is one thing to be noted that keys cannot be similar like if I write uh, the similar command and I write another uh, key with 4 and I write D here and if I print A then there you can see that this 4C has been replaced because the key are unique and it cannot be duplicated because this is how we access the elements okay so you can duplicate the values like we can write C here it won't matter but we cannot duplicate the keys okay so let's move on to the next section where we'll discuss the another method of creating a 
dictionary so we can also use this dict keyword to create a dictionary so let's open the command prompt again and let's let's write a variable let's say v is equal to dict short form for dictionary and then we'll write key value pairs here now in this curly bracket method if we were writing a string we have to use inverted or double inverted commas but in this dict method we don't necessarily need to do this like if a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 2 and also for assigning the value we are using the is equal to sign here and then c is equal to 3 okay so the v dictionary will be created there you can see so this is also a handy method and the third method is using the dict zip method in which the first parameter is the keys so you can write all the keys here and then the second parameter is the values now you can experiment this on your own so let's move ahead to the next section which is how we can access the elements of a dictionary so as i've already told you that to access any element of a dictionary you need to call the key of that value okay so let's open the command prompt again and then let's assume this v dictionary only so let's say that we ask for v is equal to a then one will be printed because for this a key we are having the value one let's do the same for this c1 there you can see so for the key c we are having the value 3 okay so this is how we access different elements of a dictionary now let's move ahead to the second part that how we can add elements to a dictionary let's say that you want to add elements to this v dictionary so what we'll do is we'll write the name of the dictionary and then we'll write the index make sure that this doesn't resemble to the already existing key because you already know that we cannot replicate them so let's write f here and the value to be assigned is let's say 87 okay now if we print our v dictionary there you can see that f is added at the end of the dictionary okay now let's see how we can update the same method but instead of writing a new key value pair here what we do is we write an already existing key and then we write a new value let's say that i want to replace the 87 value from this f key with only 8 then uh, let's see our f dictionary again there you can see that f key has now 8 as a value okay so this is how you can edit values in a dictionary so now let's move ahead to the second section which is how we can delete an element from a dictionary so we'll open the command prompt again and then there are two methods that we can use we can use the del uh, the dictionary name is let's take this v only so we want to delete the key value pair of let's say a okay so we'll write inverted comma a and then we'll delete that now let's see our v variable the a key value pair has been removed now the second method to remove the element is pop so you must be thinking that if we are already having this del method then why do we need this pop method so there is one advantage of using pop method and that is we can define an error message like if we write this command again that we want to delete the a key value pair from this dictionary we will get an error because a is not present right but if we use this pop method let's say v dot pop and then we write the key here which was a which is not present and then we write an error message error not present so if the key is not present 
in that dictionary then this error will be printed and the program won't be terminated okay so this is kind of an error handling method that we can do in dictionaries so this is why we prefer using pop method more because of this error handling capability okay so now let's move ahead and see some of the functions and methods actually there should be methods here eh? i'll uh, edit this later on so let's discuss some of the functions and methods of dictionaries so first is len now if you are familiar with string and list we have discussed that before only that we can use this len method to get the length of that specific uh, container so let me show you that how we can use that so let's say that we are having this v dictionary only so what we'll do is we'll write this length function and then the parameter is this v dictionary here so there you can see it is having three key value pair which is indeed the truth now let's say that you want to know the length of a specific element of this dictionary so what you will do is you write the length function and then the parameter inside will be dictionary and then the index of sorry the key of the values length you want to know let's say that we want to know the length of the uh, value for this f key so it is having an error because integer has no length which is pretty true because we cannot calculate the length of a integer value let's replace this with a um let's say an string value so we'll replace this with a string value and now let's do our len of v of f there you can see it is five character long okay so this is how you can use this len function and then we can use this dict dot clear to empty the list now some of the beginners confuse with an empty dictionary and a deleted dictionary now this dot clear method will not delete a dictionary but indeed it will delete all the elements of the dictionary let's say that we we have created an a variable of v so that we won't lose this v dictionary on which we are practicing so let's say that we clear this dictionary now let's see a and there you can see that this is a empty dictionary before it was having many values but now it is an empty dictionary because we have used a dot clear method okay so let's discuss the next method which is dot get method so by using this dot get method you can extract the value of that specific key now it has a advantage of using dot get method instead of just writing the value using the key is that we can also designate an error message just like in our pop method okay so this is how this dot get method will work okay so now let's move ahead and let's see that how this uh, dot keys function works so let's say that you want to know that what are the keys present in a specific dictionary let's say that i want to know that what are the keys present in this uh, v dictionary so i'll write keys here and then press enter and why it is empty <laughs> and actually this uh, dictionary is also empty i don't know why the changes was also designated on this uh, dictionary when we were using the clear method on this a dictionary so let's create the dictionary again so we'll do this we'll copy this and we'll paste it here so we have created an a dictionary let's use a dot keys and there you can see these are the keys 1 2 4 because we have repeated one key here okay so this is what dot key function does it returns all the 
keys present in that dictionary let's say that how we can use dot has keys function so what this has key function return is a boolean character that if that specific key is present in that dictionary it will return true and if not it will return false okay let's say that we want to check on a dot uh, has keys and then we want to check whether this one key is present so uh, it doesn't has and actually it's have has key and why it is not working actually i just googled it and found out that this has key is no longer available with python 3 so if you're using python 2 then you can use this has key but if you're using python 3 you can no longer use this has key okay so i will edit this <laughs> has key is not present in python 3 okay so now let's see how we can display all the values present in a dictionary okay so what we'll do is we'll write the dictionary name which is a and then the values and there you can see these are the values present in this dictionary let's say that you want to know that what are all the elements present in the dictionary so what you can simply do is you can write items and there you can see it displays all the elements of this dictionary okay so this is it this was a short video in which i have tried to explain you dictionary in as detail as possible now programming is all about practicing so this was the basics of dictionary you can work on many projects like profinity filter and many other like this in which you can use this dictionary concept and this is how you will learn this concept okay so this is it and i'll meet you in my next lecture where we'll learn something fun again so meet you there bye bye